Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. You know what that means. It's story time. Hey, I'm Kim Huffman, and I'm the, I'm the lead servant to the seniors. I guess that's okay to say, isn't it? All right. Uh, I have two stories to tell you right now, because I, you know, I, I'm the only <laughs> servant to the seniors, so I guess I'm the leader of the pack. All right. Well, uh, I, uh, these two parables remind me an awful lot of my dad because as my dad uh, was getting older before he passed, he was very critical of people, uh, part of his Alzheimer's that he had. And so this first story comes from Steve Brown. <clears throat> he was a teacher for Key Life Ministries. He uses one of Aesop's fables about an old man and his grandson who made their way into town with a donkey. The grandfather put his son, grandson on the donkey until he heard people say, look at that selfish child making his old grandfather walk. So the grandfather decided he couldn't take that, so he took the boy off to lead the donkey, and he got on the donkey. And then he heard people say, Look at that selfish old man riding the donkey, making his poor little grandson do all the walking. So the grandfather got off the donkey, and both of them walked. And then he heard people saying this, Look at those stupid two people. They've got a donkey, and neither one of them are riding it. So both the man and the boy rode the donkey together. Then they heard people say, Look at those cruel people abusing that poor animal that way. They're going to break its back with such a heavy load. Well, the grandfather and the grandson finally got to town carrying the donkey. So, sometimes people are never happy no matter what you do. Here's the second one. A parable about criticism. And it's about a farmer. A farmer came to town and offered to sell the owner of a restaurant a, a nearly endless supply of frog legs. He explained, I've got a pond full of frogs. They drive me crazy with all their croaking. Rivet, rivet. I, I, I can supply you with all the frog legs you'll, you'll ever need. The restaurant owner gave him an order for frog legs after they had struck a deal and he was happy that he was going to have some additional income from supplying frog legs to the local restaurant. The farmer returned a week later holding two scrawny bullfrogs. Embarrassed, he admitted, I was wrong. There were only two frogs but they were making a whole lot of noise. So the next time uh, someone criticizes you, just remember <laughs> and smile back at them that there's probably only two of them. All right. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 17, it says, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks through Him to God the Father. So to all you young and harders out there, and to anybody else who cares to watch in these story times, may you have a great week. God bless. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.